that minister and the prime minister have imposed brutal cuts on Canadian families who opened their fridges to find nothing there. The report out demonstrates that in all of the last seven years, Canadian, the Ontario Food Bank has gone up. And last year it went up by record amounts. 800,000 people went six million times to the food bank in this province. There's a bill before the Senate to take the carbon tax of the farmers who feed us rather than quadrupling it as the Prime Minister has said he will do. Will the Prime Minister stop interfering with the independence of the Senate and let the bill pass so that we can bring home affordable food? Yeah. The Honourable Government House Leader. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Once again, the leader of the Conservatives is demonstrating this week that he just can't tell the truth to Canadians. So whether it's the Canada-Ukraine trade agreement where there is no price on pollution, Members, not to approach uh, the limit of what would be considered parliamentary, and to stay far away from that, uh, so that it is not impugned that a member is deliberately not telling the truth. The honourable leader of the opposition. The truth is, the prime minister wants to quadruple the carbon tax, including on our farmers. I have a farmer in my riding who is spending ten thousand dollars a month a month on carbon taxes alone. All of that is passed on to the consumer. The consequences have been a record number of Canadians relying on food banks. Seven million Canadians are going hungry. One in five are skipping meals regularly because they can't afford the price of food. Yeah. Will the Prime Minister get out of the way, stop interfering with the Senate, and let them pass common sense conservative bill C-234 to take the tax off the farmers who feed us? Yeah. The Honourable Government House Leader. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Just because the leader of the Conservatives says something does not make it true, as we saw in several times last week, whether it was with regards to how they voted on the Canada-Ukraine free trade agreement, perhaps why she blamed others for his mistakes when it came to how he jumped to a conclusion for a terrorist attack. And now, what he's talking about with C-234, he knows that is patently false. And when it comes to food prices, that's because of the war in Ukraine and because of inflation. But, Mr. Speaker, he cannot direct the Senate either. And unfortunately, his members are doing things that are threatening the democratic principles and rights of independent yes. Senators. 